Welcome to Integrating Driver Packs. In this segment, we're going to set up the driver packs to automatically install the drivers for the network card, as well as the Wi-Fi, hard drive controller, and chipset. To contact us or to learn about other video series as well as our consulting services, please visit OpenSmallBusinessSolutions.com. We're going to start out by booting the main virtual machine. Then we're going to download and install MicroTorrent. We'll download the driver packs themselves. We will download the SAD or standalone driver script. We will extract the SAD script. Then we will create a setupcomplete.command script. Finally, we'll move the driver packs to the SAD folder. So let's get started. We'll start up the main virtual machine. Go into Firefox. And we're going to search for uTorrent. uTorrent.com slash downloads. And we can download the stable version. Save the file. We can click on it, run it, click next, and next again, accept the licensing agreement. We don't really need the quick launcher desktop icon. We can add an exception for MicroTorrent in the Windows firewall, but we don't need to start MicroTorrent when Windows starts up. Click next, and we don't need to check out any downloads. Click Next. We don't need to change our default search providers or accept any offers. So we'll click Decline. And there it is, MicroTorrent. We can close out of there. And we'll do a search for driver packs. Driverpacks.net slash downloads. Let's get the latest, and in this case we are looking for Windows 7 64-bit. You can make your own choices as to what you'd like to incorporate, but if you incorporate all of them it will take significantly longer to run the install. We're going to go for Chipset, LAN, Mass Storage, and WLAN. If we go to Chipset, we can click Download and Open with MicroTorrent. And we can create a folder called Driver Packs. Click OK. And close that tab. Let's go into the LAN one and click Download. Open with MicroTorrent. And we can save it. Close the tab. Download the mass storage. Open with MicroTorrent. And click OK. Close the tab. And download the WLAN. Open with MicroTorrent. And OK. We'll minimize that for now and let those download. We'll search for Driver Pack SAD 3. And there it is standalone Driver Pack utility for all OSs. Scroll down a little bit. And we can download the current version. Click on the download link and save the file. Now that it's done, we can close out of our web browser. And now we can also close out of MicroTorrent. Go to Downloads. And we can extract the SAD3 script.
We can just copy the contents of that. Go into the C drive and create a new folder called Drivers. Paste the contents. And we'll go into the Driver Pack folder. Select those and copy them. If we go into the Drivers folder, since we're using Windows 7, we would go for the NT6 folder. And we have a 64-bit version, so we're going to go for the 64-bit folder. And we can paste those. The NT5 folder is used for Windows XP, and the NT6 folder works with Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. If we open up the readme.txt file and scroll to the very bottom, we can see the commands that need to be in the setup complete script. I'm going to just highlight those and copy it. As far as the command line switch, I'm going to use slash KR, which is a silent install that keeps only the drivers for your OS, exits, and automatically reboots. So we'll copy the highlighted text. Create a new file, paste it in there. We'll change the switch from S to KR. And also, we don't have this in the system root. We have it in system root backslash drivers. Now we can save this. We want to save it in C Windows. Scroll down to Setup. Create a new folder called Scripts. Select all files and call it setupcomplete.cmd. Click Save. That will run after the MIDI setup wizard. And we can close out. That concludes this segment. In this segment, we downloaded the driver packs that we would like to integrate into our installation. We also downloaded the standalone driver script, extracted it, and created a script that would launch that script when the cloning was complete and the machine was rebooted. In the next segment, we will prepare for and run the sysprep tool.